I left these here when I did the fucking reaction to the Smash presentation earlier. Um, <laughs> hi everybody, I'm Griffin. I'm a hoe and I'm mad as hell. Let's play some Smash. Um, more like the hetero. Oh, yeah, the new Yoshi emote is out. I gotta show you guys what that looks like for the YouTube VOD. That finally got approved. Hold on. I gotta go into, like, my folder. I didn't have that prepared. Yeah, this is the new emote, everybody. This is called Yoshi Lull. And he goes... <laughs> and, um... I'm sure we'll get a lot of use. It really bothers me to no end that that instrumental theme from E3 2018 that I just played shows up nowhere in this game. I forgot that this is why I was even playing Smash tonight. <laughs> like, okay, it's one thing for me to just not like a character, and for me not to- oh, it's okay, it's, it's not for me, I'll just never play as them. However, I just deeply hate everything about Dragon Quest, and the fact that I have to co- I have to play a game with things that coexist with Dragon Quest drives me up the fucking wall. But hey, at least you got a home run contest, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Banjo! There he is. That's the one thing that's keeping me going. That's why that's why these are still here. <laughs> maybe maybe in the fall, when we actually do get Banjo, I'll put Sakurai's head on Banjo and then Hero's head on Kazooie. And all will be right. But for now, something is very, very wrong. In the happy-go-lucky world of Nintendo. This is the one good thing, though. I would honestly not mind if they made Slime a playable character instead. I say Slime's more iconic. You don't get controllers in the shape of the hero. You get controllers in the shape of a slime. Explain that one. Okay, um, let's jump into it. I don't know if I want to do classic mode first, or... No, we'll start, we'll, we'll start with the match. Because this is the best part of the patch. I'm sorry, wait, what do you mean there's a new character? I didn't even know. Uh... We'll play FS Meter, because they changed things regarding that, too. But most importantly, Corrin got a buff, baby! I'm very curious as to what the rest of the DLC stages are going to end up like, though, because I think if you look at a lot of the other representation from all the different series in Smash, like, oh, Kirby, he gets a grassland. Mario, they get grasslands. Zelda, they get grasslands. Animal Crossing, they get grasslands. Sonic, he gets grasslands. There's a lot of grassy levels! And this is a grassy level. Um, so this is the music selection. Apparently, the composer for the Dragon Quest series is a crazy fucking Nazi, like literally, but also, of equal importance, I'd say, he insists on not letting the games use orchestrated music, so these are all apparently shitty midis. I can't wait! Let's jump into it! Hi, Griffin. Please don't bully Dragon Quest. <laughs> it's too late. It's a sky level. It's a sky level that floats above the ground. I legitimately misread this as hetero. Um, speaking of the opposite of that, though, I want to see what Corrin's buffs are like. Apparently, they fixed, well, not necessarily fixed, but specifically focused in on making his up B better. So, uh, whoo! Tyler the Bits! Thank you. But, uh, <laughs> They made his feet larger. I'm just here to see the slime. God, the fucking menu. <laughs> well, that was Smash Bros for tonight. Thank you for watching. Oh my god, fuck this character. <laughs> Great, I, no guys, it's great. This character's great. See, but like this series or not, I think most people agree that this moveset is fucking bizarre. There's a lot of RNG elements, and like... Some fools may like to draw comparisons to characters like Luigi and Mr. Game & Watch. And I think that's, that's not possible. I don't think that those comparisons are in good faith, because that completely ignores- Oh, <gasps> SLIME! how fucking ridiculous this character is. And this is just from the impressions I got during the Sakurai thing, but apparently it's worse than anybody could have known. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good strings. 
It makes me feel like I'm really playing a GameCube game. Wow. Hell out of here. Oh wow, his up B is a little bit better. Please leave. Wait a second, but the timer wasn't going then. Is that like an additional option you have to turn on on top of everything then, or...? I thought that was like a permanent modification they made to have the final smash meter worked. Cause his isn't going down right now, is it? Uh oh. Oh, that would have been a good opportunity to smash me, but I appreciate that he didn't take it. Oh! But I'm skilled. Oh, now it's depleting. Okay, so you get a little bit and then it starts depleting. Gotcha. So, oh, I've been snoozed. I'm a tired. Doesn't seem like it's an option to me. And then you get the big Roblox Neon Sphere in the tree. Wow. Ooh, okay, okay. Is that the Dragon Quest IX tree? Do I look like I fucking know? I was gonna down B though. See ya! It's from Dragon Quest XI. Sakurai said something or other about its importance. Now we can see his clapping animation. How exciting. You know what though, at least, I mean, I was going to say it looks better than Krom's because Krom's clapping animation is incredibly wooden and his hands don't, don't move at all. But I feel like Heroes' his hands are too floppy. I don't know. What happened? Like it's like a palm to tip kind of clap. Something's off. Uh, let's do a little bit. I'm gonna do another match here though. <laughs> when are they gonna add a clap animation when they're clapping their cheeks? Oh, you haven't heard? That's M. Corrin's. Let's take a look at some different alts, though. Wow, they're beautiful! Oh, there they are. <laughs> if I had to choose any, though, I think I like this one the most. I really hate the other ones. This one is tolerable, at least. It's just the eye shape. I hate how Toriyama draws eyes and eyebrows. And this one still has it a little bit, but... Also, I'm not gonna, like, say anything yet regarding the music. Who knows, there could be some bangers in here, even looking past the mini stuff. But just as far as, like, the compositions go, like, so far these are snoozers to me. But I'm guessing these are, like, overworld themes rather than battle themes that we're getting right now. I would love it if Goku got in just for how good the Griffin reaction would be. I would kill myself on stream. And then everybody would just use the, the Yoshi lull in chat. Local man despises all of Dragon Quest because eyes look strange. I despise Dragon Quest because it's in my Smash Bros! Uh-oh. Whoa! The orchestration is like the one thing that saves this series is music and they don't have it. A combo of Yoshi, Lull, and Klonoa Scream. So like... Like a... <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, a little bit. Uh oh. Mmm, love that four meter range! You got Banjo. <laughs> and they kept Corrin. Listen! So only buy the DLC pass if you are confident in its quality. Goku gets in and Griffin just shatters like the- Oh, hold on. I have that. I have what you speak of. Yeah, looks about right. Sounds about right. Oh! 
How can you complain about Dragon Quest when Fire Emblem has so much rep? Easy, because Corrin is great and <laughs> Dragon Quest isn't and I'm gonna get so crucified for saying that. Oof, speaking of recoveries though. God, I wish I were playing Fire Emblem Three Houses right now. You know what though? I think to some degree I appreciate having a little bit of a break though, because honestly, six hour streams like nightly is- a <laughs> it wears on a man! <laughs> I understand that Dragon Quest is big, that doesn't mean I have to think it's good. God, I can't wait for them to add Angry Birds to Smash. Griffin, please check your character's played stats after this. Okay, sure. I don't know how to do that, but if you could give me instructions after this, that would be very lovely. I hate how hot Kaspar is. You're welcome, Femi! I have great taste in characters in Three Houses, and nobody wants to admit it. You should have known there was potential the moment they got the Agoretsuko voice actor. Oh! Griffin, why don't you like it though? You never give any reason. Because I, it's just not my kind of RPG as far as the RPGs that I like goes. Honestly, I think it is hard for me to get out, get into anything outside of like Fire Emblem or anything that's more like action RPG, like Paper Mario and the, or the Mario and Luigi RPGs. Um, Dragon Quest is like very, you know, it's like the RPG. And I guess Xenoblade too, but I think you could factor that in with the RP. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not really doing much, like, active during the combat, I think Fire Emblem makes up for that, even though it is very, like, non-involved turn-based. Oh no, they won. Did you know that they all have different shields? Also, Griffin, how many sub points are you from your next emote? Well, also, in I guess I can show you this too. Well, I have the folder open. Uh, we also had another emote slot on top of the Yoshi, so this isn't out yet, but it's been submitted. This is called Hog Champ. May look a little familiar to you. Um, but let me see. I don't know why I was looking for more emotes. <laughs> I don't have any here in this folder. Um, but I believe 14. And then we hit the affiliate max. Griffin likes Mario and hot anime boys. What's the difference? Stats are in the vault section, I believe. Okay, I'll, I'll check the vault. Yeah, Hogchamp probably isn't gonna be available for like a week. I like just submitted it and Yoshi took a while, so. Hmm. Where again? I I'm guessing records, check your stats, yeah. And then, battle data? Which of these is the thickest of all? Apparently Lucina! Which is not true, but okay. <laughs> Battles with CPUs and other players? Oh my- okay, well that's KOs, not battles. I thought it was like a uh, thousand and five hundred and- How do you check- how do you check by- by matches though? Well, I guess if you were to divide this by three stocks, it would be about 500 matches with Corrin. This list looks about right, though. Subpoints, though? Yeah, I think we're 14 subpoints away from, from the latest one. Unless I can, like, find a different... Like, if it's in stats? Battles fought. Have I fought exactly 999 matches? Or... <laughs> Offline battles, okay, okay. But now, if I click this, nothing happens. So I want to see how many battles I fought as Corrin. Oh, 
Oh, wait, no, I see. You have to scroll this list. Battles. You can battle against people you don't know. There you go. I've played 611 matches of Corrin. With Corrin. There he is. And I'm about to play <laughs> hundreds more. Although I may play a lot of Banjo guys. They look really good. Uh, I was about to do another, another Smash battle, but I think I'm actually going to swap to Classic from here. You know what we can do? After we do Classic mode, um, VR mode. I've always meant to do a Smash stream after the 3.0 update where I, like, show everybody a bunch of stages that I've downloaded. And I never got around to doing that. So I should. Because uh, we, we sure as hell ain't gonna play. Spend two hours playing as this dude. I'm gonna touch him once, and that's it. A history of heroism. Well, I'm gonna pick... Where's the Ratman? You're the Ratman. I'll pick you. Because I think the Dragon Quest XI one makes me the most angry. I also made a stage and you never had a chance to look at it. Oh, are these supposed to be slimes? I'm not going to get any of these references. Oh, also I have no idea how he plays and I'm also on 5.0. Whoops! Bad choice. Oh, okay, so I thought all of his spells were linked to down B, but it looks like some of them are locked to his side B, so he has, like, I don't know, whatever this is? Oh, so Pikachu's down B, gotcha. For his side special, he wields a gun. Oh, I see, this is health-based. How horrifying. Yeah, see ya. Why are the Kirby's making these noises? As of when? Uh, probably like, I can check right now if you want. Is this gonna be another like Breath of the Wild bit where somebody went behind my back and- Hold on. I'll do that. Uh, I always forget how to get to my sub point stats. I think it's like, in analytics and then- <laughs> Femi! Who- Oh my- I don't- I, I mean, I guess it can't be mad, but I- f uh, Now I feel- I feel bad when people gift subs like that. Okay, we are now at 50 sub points. We have hit the ceiling uh, for affiliate subscriptions. And uh, now, we gotta vote on what the next emote is gonna be <laughs> all over again. They make those noises because you are killing them. Why is Robin's voice like this? Everybody's voice is high-pitched. Is that a Dragon Quest reference? I genuinely don't know. Okay, this, this, okay. Oh, this is fucking awful. I really do not like having to scroll through the list. I think that's an awful, awful idea. Like, that was a problem, and then they acknowledged it with, with the Shulk thing change from 4 to Ultimate, where they made it so that, like, okay, hold on. Let me try and demonstrate this. So I do a down B. If I want to get to the bottom one of the list, I have to go one, two, three, B. That's a lot of inputs. With Shulk, it's you do the down B, or whatever his thing is. I think it's his neutral B. And then you just press the stick in whatever direction you want so that all the moves are a single step away. I mean, I don't think people who play Hero deserve rights, so I guess that's not really a, a, a huge complaint. However, that seems like an oversight. When they already made those exact same design considerations for a similar character. See, I mean, I have the final smash, but truly, at what cost? Because it looks so ugly. Oh! Wait, was this me? Okay, I thought I died. There's some insanely good spells in his down B. Oh, that is... We know this for a fact. Um, the problem is that they're too good. Just scroll frame perfect. Only takes 50 milliseconds. <laughs> the scrolling is what balances how absolutely ridiculous it is. I can't wait for them to add Clippy to Smash, and his entire bit is just having to operate Microsoft Word to play the character. Fuck, no, you gotta right click. No, wrong, man. Goddamn. Uh, X. No, fuck. Fuck. Ah, 
I have no idea what any of these do, though. This character is definitely gonna have, like, a really... Maybe a high skill ceiling, but definitely a high skill floor. You know what I mean? Like, the minimum barrier to entry to figure out how the hell any of this works. Anyways, none of your beeswax. <laughs> Uh-oh. That was my idea! He stole it! Oh, is that a crit? Oh, am I, am I gonna win because I got a crit? Oh, how delightfully fair. Gotta be honest, I actually like most of the Dragon Quest hero designs. Oh. Well, I guess this explains why my taste is better than yours, then. My box! My cube! It's my game cube! What? Oh, because I just continued. I thought I had to restart the match. That's right, that's how classic mode works. He has fireballs, Griffy. How do I get the fireballs? Oh, hi, Rathalos. There we go. Now the Grinch leakers can be happy. Get it? Because it's a Dragon Quest reference. Haha. <laughs> Guys, they're gonna confirm it any day now. Guys, Nintendo's gonna announce the NX any second now. Tomorrow, for sure. The nut is mine. Don't you have to, like, wait for him to land before you can use this, though? Do it. No, 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 no. You put those feet on the ground right now, young man. You come down here right now! There we go. So I can proceed to land zero of these hits. Nope! Oh, maybe yes then. This Yoshi emote is the best? Thank you! That's because Yoshi is the best. Oh god, speaking of fireballs! These are anything but yummy. Come on, step. Oh! That's good, that's really, really good. Okay, so can we talk about how Chris always likes to make that one joke about that one Bowser sound effect where he goes, and it sounds like he's saying a slur? Honestly, I think... I think that particular Bowser thing is stupid. But there's a certain voice line that this dude has, what, what, and I consider that a little bit easier to miss here. But is that just me, or...? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. What is Banjo's... I mean, it's... De Banjo's classic mode final boss is definitely gonna have, like, some really good Kirk Hope music, like the Grunty Battlers from from any of the Banjo games really would be great, but... That's the only thing keeping me going right now, is that we did get Banjo. Imagine if we just didn't. I don't know what I would do with myself. Fuck. Bowser would never say that. I agree! Oh, did I get a crit? Is that what happened? Cool. Oh, have a good night, Max. <sighs> mm. But I'm angry when I win because now I have to... <gasps> We've got a problem here, folks. Yeah, wow, these minis sound fucking dreadful. Yeah. 
you will die. I don't get the high-pitched voices. I don't understand why they did that. Come to me. Or not. Oh, fire is neutral B. Okay, I get it. Oh, and you can keep that charge, too, like Lucario's aura. Did the homophobe make the mateys of the orchestras? I think so. I'd imagine that's why they're so bad. God, th this is the fuck- this one's the worst, I think. It's between this one or the, the Dragon Quest XI one, I think. God, I can't wait to stop playing this. So only purchase this if you are confident in its value. <gasps> How could you? I can't believe you've done this. I know, it, it's, it sounds like I'm listening to a Roblox MIDI! I think you could even, like, like, GameCube midis are better than this. Like, that joke I made earlier was, like, being too generous, I think. Whack? What does this mean? Did I use it yet? Am I whacking? Oh, no. Oh, yes! Literally the shittiest MIDI sound fonts possible. I don't know how to use these fucking spells and I refuse to learn! No, SNES minis are better. That's mean. That's mean to the Super Nintendo. Because, like, sure, lower quality maybe, but... You can't look at, like, anything from Super Mario World and say that it's- I'm sorry, Robin is the final boss? Bang? See, th that's what weirds me out is that once you confirm the spell you want to use on the menu, you use it instantly, which you know, makes sense, but I just like to, like, pre-select what I want to use and then get into position to use it. But I guess I can see how that's trickier now, because you have to be in the right spot and then open the menu. Which is indeed an enormous pain in the ass, but I guess I get it. Because if what I am asking for was indeed true, then that would be horrible. Oh! Oh, it's the dragon from Dragon Quest, I think? Y'all be talking about Dragon Quest, Dragon Ball, but do they even have dragons in them? I haven't seen any. He's a dead! Genesis minis! I mean, even then I think that's mean to the Genesis, but maybe if you want to say the Sonic Spinball options menu, then possibly, sure. There he goes. What a weird final boss! What a- what a weird classic route! No, I don't think they're gonna make any new bosses for, for the DLC characters. Just like fun references like that. But as long as they have like great music to represent it, like I would be fine with just like grunty music on a Master Hand battle. 
Well, that's Smash Bros. for tonight, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm actually gonna skip this. Literally, the actual SNES versions of these songs are better than the. <laughs> God damn it. Oh boy. Oh boy, what a fun reward. Oh, young Sheldon? Oh, did I not have this before? You're telling me I didn't have this before? This blows me away that I don't have the music fully unlocked yet. Oh! <gasps> this is a really good image, though! Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, hero. Goodbye, classic mode. Goodbye, Pokemon. It's time to fucking leave. Fighting against Galeem with Banjo. <laughs> I don't pass music playing. How do I get to custom stages? It's been so long. Guys, there have been stages that I've made that I haven't even shown you. Mm. I say items on. All right, let me start from the bottom here, and we'll see what I've got here. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do all of them, I say. Let's start with the Sonic movie. I made this one on stream, um, but it's been a while, so I think we should just check them all out. Even though I think Smash custom stages have very quickly, you know, kind of gone past their... Like, nobody really makes memes or talks about them anymore. Like, they fell off real fast, um... But I still want to take the time to look at these, because I think I have a really good selection here. Yeah, wait a second, he's not even called Hero. He's supposed to be the Luminary, isn't he? Oh, I forgot about the flexing and the eyebrows! Very good choice of music, though. How far we've come! What, isn't there like a glitch where you can get stuck between the titties? Yep. Okay. Finally, I'm home. I think that's why I put the cannon there, so it's harder to get stuck. <laughs> Are you sure you wish to share the Sonic movie with the world? I'm so glad that that thing's getting a Valentine's Day release. Oh shit, items. I forgot I turned those on, whoops. Yeah, they have, like, official Japanese names, I guess, but it, not in English. Again, I did, like, record a reaction to the thing that Sakurai did, but I was just very bitter during the whole thing, so I didn't upload it to the VOD channel. Oh, he just went fully inside the peck. Okay, great. Yeah, that's tricky. The armpit can kind of push you in if you're not careful. This cannon really is a disaster, though. It's not in a good spot. Oh, I can use the Kirby thingy right now. What is this? The Dragoon? The Egg Dragoon? Two for baby. No. Roy? Bad Roy, put that down. Uh oh. That's quite useless, isn't it? I heard it got pushed back to March. Apparently that that's like that wasn't true, and they reconfirmed it for February for Valentine's Day. Speaking of, though, the Sonic 06 highlights have been coming along really, really well. Um, I was going to stream this yesterday, but I couldn't because I <laughs> I was uploading uh, the stream from the previous night. And then I was like, oh, well, I don't have very much storage left. I'm going to... Hi, Rathalos! I'm going to clear up my files. 
And I deleted the the YouTube upload version of that night's VOD when it was 97% done uploading. And because the Three Houses streams have been six hours apiece, that's a very lengthy thing to repeat, so I wasn't able to do it last night. But I used that time to work on the, uh, the 06 highlight some more. And fellas, I'm so excited for that to be done, because I think there's some, there's some good stuff in there. This is a fake Smash Ball. This is a fake. This is a lie. You've swindled me. I really hope the hero being in Smash gets more people out of Japan to to grow an interest in Dragon Quest. Well, it sure hasn't for me. I think it's done the opposite. Like, okay, I'm playing with, like, Street Fighter characters and Castlevania characters, and those are, like, games that I've never really gotten into, but I don't hate them like I hate Dragon Quest. Like, Chad was saying earlier that, oh, Gref and Yuta just hate everything. No! I think Dragon Quest and Castlevania are fine. But that's the end of story. I think that, that them being in Smash makes perfect sense. They don't make me angry like Dragon Quest does. <laughs> Although I should at the very least get into Castlevania games, because I, I hear they're the kind of thing that I would really like. Oh, hey, Roy. Yeah, this cannon has made this thing drag on for fucking ever. I really should have added a timer or something. As big and buff and broad as Sonic is, he, he's just very grabby. He wants to give us a hug. And it makes it very difficult to get launched, I find. Especially Eleven. Oh, you mean Dragon Quest Heroes Eleven S, Echoes of an Elusive Age, and Definitive Nintendo Switch Edition. And a half. Oh, you mean Dragon Quest XR? What a nightmare I've, I've birthed, truly. Both just in terms of just this imagery but more importantly in terms of stage layout, because I've really just made something that I'm not... You know what I mean? I just wasn't responsible with the decisions that I've made with this stage. And unfortunately, I'm now paying the ultimate price. The Super Smash Bros. ultimate price. Goodbye, Richter. Oh, that's right, I forgot I put, like, wind currents in the armpits to help you get out. But I think that's... Oh! Yeah, that's gotta be the end of it for Richter. I'm gonna get sparkly. There we go. <laughs> yes, apparently the hero actually is called Eleven. Yup! Griffin, you just said Dragon Quest and Castlevania are fine. Also, apparently that literally was my thousandth battle. I meant to say that Street Fighter and Castlevania are fine. Dragon Quest is a fucking monstrosity. Or, <clears throat> as Sammy Classic Sonic fan would say, MONSTROSITY! Anyways, this is Tails Gets Trolled. Stinky air! Well, heat rises. Hot air rises after all, so... Makes you think. Makes you wonder. I don't really like any Fire Emblem Three Houses character designs pre-Three Houses, to be honest. I forget- oh, I forgot the custom stages have awful camera controls, but I also forget how to make Korra make a disappointed face. But thankfully I have that on my desktop, so let me just- let me get back to you with this real quick, actually. One moment. Yeah, there we go. Back to business. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at what, what a selection! Also, Emerald Hill Zone is a good choice for this one. This is my face when people say mean things about Fire Emblem Fates. Oh, you can even like go down beneath the snout. 
and there's even more to interact with. This actually seems like a great place to camp to like speed up the battle, so I think I'm just gonna hang out down here for now, from now on. This tail should really honestly be an emote. Well, I'd like to get the blessing from the actual creator of the Tales Gets Trolled comics, but I think he like stopped making them and then like disappeared. So I don't know if I can do that. But yeah, if you've got emote suggestions, I guess you've got to like put together another poll now. I'm not sure if I want to do like a best of from the previous polls, from other suggestions people have already made, and we'll give those a second chance, or if we'll come together, come up with like a new batch. Um, but I don't know. I feel like if I did that, like, Hogchamp came so close um, with support of, with support of Sidon. Like, oh hi Black Knight, Tyler. Look at this top. That's a good design. Leave him alone. Oh, now he's topping me. I would do a best of and include a couple of new ones. See, but I think Sidon would just win. Because without Hogchamp to defend their honor, Sidon would just automatically win. So what would even be the point of having an election? But that's a real Smash Ball. Uh-oh. That's what I like to see, baby. Or rather, that's what I like to... Uh, B, C, C. Yeah, Dark Nut from Zelda is cool. Tyler! I'm glad to just have that permanently in OBS now, because I get the feeling I'm gonna use this a lot. I still think Sleepy Linhart is a really good choice, but Chad apparently disagreed in the poll. I don't know, and you gotta think about the range of emotions that's currently on display right now, so let's see. We've got Keaton and Corrin Pride, we've got Klonoa Scream, we've got Yoshi Lull, and I guess Griffin Suspicion, if you're a $25 subscriber, which nobody is. Um, so that's, ma that's mainly for me. And then we have Hogchamp. So we gotta think about something that will like genuinely set itself apart from those other categories. But that's just me. So how goes letting Corrin getting his ass beat? Uh, well if that's what I'm trying to do then quite poorly because Corrin's doing great. Hey, just if you'd like to see Corrin get beat up for like three hours, you can refer to my World of Light stream when I first unlocked Corrin and then just like stopped playing for like several hours just to ogle his 3D model and take a bunch of screenshots. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna get greedy with that grab, but it looks like I didn't have the time to really. Oh no, I'm defeated! Okay, never mind. Getting Corrin's ass beat is going swimmingly, it turns out. No contest. We need an emote of the Little Caesars pizza mascot dabbing. I'm not really in on pizza culture. The only thing I know is... Hello everyone, I'm Scott, president of Domino's Pizza. <laughs> this map is called Ollie. Eishi, Jokyoshi, Furutsukeshi, everyone coming together to create amazing Hatsune Miku fan art. Oh, I'm on this side of the map. For some reason, I thought it was like one of the links for a second. Oh, this is true chaos. <laughs> Look at his lips! I love the layer separation in this one, it's really good. Ollie could be an emote, I don't know. <laughs> Little Caesars has the best modern day pizza mascot. You're forgetting Domino's app featuring Hatsune Miku, unfortunately. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just gonna be this for two hours tonight, though, so uh, not necessarily a normal stream. A normal stream would be, like, two games, two hours each. Um, but, you know, it's not gonna be six hours of this. And who knows, maybe I can get some even more work done on the 06 highlights, because that's been cooking for a while, and streaming three houses in the way I've been streaming it really has not been helping me complete it any faster. Um, but, but I hope to get it out soon. Because it's been a while since you've gotten a highlights video out. The last one is still Alan Wake, I think, right? Uh-oh. That was a greedy uppy. Uh-oh. Yeah, this ain't me. Ah, oh, the sloped mouth is so good. What a treasure. So what exactly does Death Scythe do again? Like, I know it, like, kills, but, like, how? Because there's actually, like, a requirement there. Is it, like, once you hit 100% or how does that work? Hey, speaking of 100%, that's me. How horrifying. Ooh! Hatsune Miku is more than a pizza mascot. She is a way of life. That's true. But it, it's one of her occupations. I don't see why she can't be considered one. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, his uppy is way less trash now. It's like, still not great. I'd say it's like average. It's like decent, it's usable, you know? Miku isn't a mascot anymore. Then what is she? Sentient? Free? She's evolved. Oh my. Guys, can we, can we talk about something? Oh, you can't zoom in any more than this, but I'd like to draw attention to how fucking enormous Corrin's hand gets when he grabs. Thanks for watching. Jesus, there we go. I can't believe you've done this. Oh god. Oh, that's actually genius though, because I still had the invincibility from coming back from that spawn platform. This is a very intentional. Yowie hands! Corrin is basically made of Play-Doh and teeth. Sounds about right. God, I fucking- No! Oh, I'm so bad at this. I can't cope with reverse controls. I was so close to. Wow. Very cute. Just like Miku. This map is called Oof. Or as the gamers say, OOF! So right now the character select screen is like a perfect rectangle. But once we get all the DLC fighters, is it going to be that? Or what's that going to look like? Because they're going to be very upset on some intrinsic level that that's not even. Or it's not going to be even, if that's the case. Also this is fucking amazing music for a Roblox stage. It's perfect. It'll be slightly smaller. Oh my- Look at how tall this stage is, actually. 
It's a hell of a blast zone. See, but the edges of the head being, like, very smooth and effectively non-grabbable is very interesting. Also, I thought I was the other Griffin. I thought it was the assist trophy that I just summoned and I didn't see what I, where I was. So, whoops. Yeah, I was just thinking to myself, why isn't this controlling properly? Also, I know it just said at the beginning of the stage, but like, what what music is this actually? I want to say like Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer for some reason, but I have no clue. I did not play that game, but that's the vibe that I get. There's something, I, there's something I need to try the next time I get Corrin's windscreen. Hold on. These are actually some maps that Tyler made now. This one's called... Well, I don't know if Tyler made this one, but he did make this one. This one's called Womps... Yeah, I don't think he made this one. But it is a good map. I just immediately associate well-designed levels with something that Tyler made. Wrong gay, hand chip. Oh, God. See, I can't even play random battles anymore. Because I can't exclude him. I can't... Can I sell him back to Nintendo? Possibly? I don't want this. I didn't ask for this. Oh, this is clever. The cannon is... And the pink, that's the bomb. That's actually really good. Oh, and look at the- look at the thwomp. That's just delightful. Does it actually- does the lava hurt you? Wow, it does! That's cool! Uh -uh. Well, I know who I'm ganging up on first, that's for sure. Because there were certain fighters in the Wii U, um, like in Smash 4's DLC. Like, I didn't get all of them. I just got the ones that I wanted, because I don't even think they had the option to get a pass. But, like... If only... If only I could get all the DLC fighters except Hero. Though now I'm very curious to see how that comet is going to age, because who knows, maybe I'll hate all of the fighters from here on out after Banjo, I don't know. I don't know what other two characters you could even, like, say though. Like, that are obvious picks. Like, I feel like we got them all. Also, I just got thwomped. I keep reading that those aren't platforms up here. This is very tightly designed though. I, I, I do love how the platforms are arranged. It almost feels structured like a- oh, speaking of obvious picks. <laughs> but it really does, layout-wise, feel like it, it could be something like right out of the N64 Smash. Excuse me for one moment. Uh, no you don't, I think the fuck not. Oh god. Ooh! As long as Hero doesn't get it, I'm happy. Dark Pit can use this, actually. I don't even mind. I willingly accept my demise.
Like, if I had to pick who I'd rather lose to, right? I want Phoenix right, I want Phoenix right, I want Phoenix- Okay, Fe oh, I guess chat wants Phoenix right. That would be a good one. Okay, I've gotten that cheer so many matches in a row, I'm concerned that, like, is it a pity thing? And also, how come nobody's fucking dead yet? Any, any minute now, any minute now, this same, this single charged side A will land. Yeah, the blast zones on this are pretty bonkers. I guess that would be my one concern with this one. I, like, almost want these Smash Balls to leave me alone because I'm scared of them. Oh! See, but I at, least, at least I got Hero, so I'm happy with this outcome. I don't even know who I want now. Banjo blows everything else out of the water for me, right? Literally wanted Banjo and Smash for 20 years. Literally. Exactly. Like, who else is left? This one's by Tyler. This is Roblox Crossroad. I mean, if you didn't grow up with this, and this is probably just like a whatever stage, but personally, I think this is a very clever um, reimagining, I suppose. Also, this is just reminding me, I, I completely forgot that I'm not done streaming Mario Maker. God, I already had like... <sighs> I mean, I finished Freedom Planet and Ukulele, so my schedule prior to Three Houses wasn't even that tightly packed, but like... Xenoblade, um, Zelda, and Mario Maker were all like very long series as is. And it's just occurred to me how much I'm gonna have to get back to by the time I actually finish streaming Three Houses. I just want to marry Linhart. <laughs> I wanted Shovel Knight too, but I still think it's incredible that they got an assist trophy at all. I'm happy with that. Ooh! Has it always done the Galaga background, or is that new? I don't remember that always being a thing. Uh oh. I can think of one franchise. It deserves to have implementation in Smash. Oh, hi, Pong. I mean, TV game 11 or whatever. Yeah, what are you thinking, Kaijimafu? Rhythm Heaven would be great. I think I would love a Rhythm he Heaven character. I legit think that's actually a likely candidate now that I think on it. Because they were planned for four, right? But they got cut? Also, this world map section of this Mario 3 uh, thingy is really good. Yeah. 
So how about you guys? How have you been tonight? What is going- Oh, that's a Pokemon? I thought that was just a, a man getting the electric chair. It's very obvious which characters are from 64 and Melee compared to the newer ones. Because they have way less thought put into their moveset. Hmm. I mean, they seem to have kind of tried to tweak Mario's a little bit as time has gone on. Like, he's got a bunch of different moves that are references to different games, but like, yeah. Like, I don't think any character from Smash 64 is gonna have fucking menus pop up when you use a down B, that's for sure. Though I appreciate what they've tried to do to, like, modernize Link with uh, Breath of the Wild, I think they've done some really smart changes to the moveset there. Uh, Ka that's right, Cabby doesn't do anything. It'd be cool if they did have, like, a function. But that's what you get when you make a game out of repurposed Wii U assets. Okay, well I'm gone. That's me. Mario still having Flood is actually a huge indictment of how little he's changed. That is very weird, isn't it? Because I feel like... <sighs> it's just weird. Like, you don't have many characters that, like, attack like that, you know? Where it just doesn't do damage, it just moves them? Like, what a waste of a side B. Cappy really would be a better implementation of that, wouldn't it? Like, I'm looking at this roster right now. What other characters have a side B that does no damage? I don't know. Sunshine is the least relevant 3D Mario. As much as I like Sunshine, Tyler, you are correct. Three, two, one, go! Oh, didn't Tyler also make this one? Excellent music choice. I like how the tilting of the foreground and the background is like a little desynced, so, so it's like the the, ham the mouth-watering hamburgers are like teetering a little bit. Oh, I didn't throw this. Whoops. Yeah, okay, this is- this is by Tyler. That said, I- I can't help but be a little disappointed that you didn't choose the background that has the Aurora Borealis in it. Like, what a fucking letdown. I can't believe you've done this to us, Tyler. Isn't there, like, an ice theme that has that, or am I misremembering? Apparently you can't change it after choosing? Oh! And I didn't want to have to redo the whole stage? Oh god, yeah, okay, fair enough. But what if I were to build a Smash stage and disguise it as my own cooking? There's the cooking! Who's this? Oh, Marshadow. God, I genuinely don't know if I'm gonna get the new Pokemon. I think I probably won't. I've completely lost interest in it, like... Even if they do end up, like, coincidentally having all the Pokemon that I like in it... I just, like... I don't know if I want to support it. 
and it doesn't seem like outside of that it does anything new or interesting enough to bring me back, but... That's, that's just like the sad thing, isn't it though? Cause that's just like, that's it for Pokemon, I guess. Cause they're not going back on that. I'd love Frogger. Ooh, Frogger could be good, but I don't know if they're like up there with like Pac-Man tier. Of like classic arcade character. Don't you come for me! Don't you come for me, Keaton! Keaton! Oh, thanks. It's so weird to see imagery like that and then have like things immediately cut back to fucking <laughs> superintendent. Well, no, this is Principal Skinner, not Superintendent Chalmers. I'm sorry, I'm a fucking fraud. Oh no, he's a dragon, I can't do my thing! Space Invader? I think I had a dream once where Frogger was added into this game? Metacrystal? Well... Sure. God, we've already been going for an hour. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to, through all these. It seems so doable at first, doesn't it? Because it's not even like... I don't even have that many custom stages. Oh, hi, sexy. I'll let you decide which one I was talking about there. I hope you're ready for mouth-watering Metal Mario. <laughs> yeah, Jigglypuff! For the love of God, please play as somebody else. If I don't play as male Corin, nobody else will, okay? This is the cross I bear. And I promise you, if I play as any other character, it will not be good news. Except maybe Joker. Because I, I can fuck with him. You got your hero, that's all you're getting, I'm afraid. Oh, who got that? Was that- that was Link? Oh, that was a close one. Man, Meta Crystal is really out here just slapping, isn't it? Oh, oh! See, how come this can't be a playable character? I want to play as Mario Paint the character. So guys, a very popular idea that I've always heard floated around for years now is like, oh, they should make Paper Mario a playable character. An obvious choice. What do you guys think about that? I don't think I would like it, especially because that... I mean, you could... It wouldn't necessarily be an Echo Fighter because 
you could definitely make something that's a com wholly unique moveset. But as far as just like how much Mario rep is already there and like, you know, we already we already got enough, I think. I like Paper Mario a lot, but it's a weird suggestion, right? Griffin be like, I'm so excited for Banjo, I can't wait for him, I want him so bad, and then plays him once and goes right back to M-Corn. Also, I died to read that comment, I hope you're happy, Rice. Just gonna bring this back real quick. <laughs> oh, good for you! Good for you, Jigglypuff. It would be a monkey's paw, and all of his moves would only draw from Sticker Star. Okay, so this stage is called Spicy Meatball. Listen. I mean, I have a huge attachment to Banjo. So I think out of all the new fighters, I would definitely play the most Banjo, but... I would still main Corrin. Like, the only reason I bounced between characters... Oh, he's... Okay, I see how what's happening here. But the only reason I really had multiple mains in Smash 4 is because there wasn't really any character that I liked that much, and but then there was Corrin, and I do like him very, very much. So I don't have any reason to play as anybody else. What is Bowser doing? Uh, fuck, I don't know. I need to be paying more attention. I still don't know what that portal does, and I'm very afraid. Again, though, very good choice of music. Where am I? Oh, here I am. I'm just gonna sit here and do this, I think, for the time being. Woo! And what a choice. What the fuck? It's already just... Wait, what? I... Oh, there's like wind pulling you in there, too. Guys, I think I need to go inside to find out. Or, better yet, throw somebody else in there. But this spicy meatball makes that difficult. for I wasn't paying attention what will you do when Corrin is gone I guess never play smash again there's no reason to was that what Bowser was doing the stage is called Minecraft it's the most fun you can have in an app I am having lots of fun. Speaking of Paper Mario, though, what do you guys think of, like, this whole remaster Thousand Year Door movement? Because boy, oh boy, do I have some opinions that everybody's gonna not like. Three, two, one, go! Environmental noises. I guess that fits, doesn't it? It's peaceful. <gasps> Hey, Incineroar, what if I put my Minecraft bed next to yours? 
<laughs> Just kidding. Unless... Remember the last time they remastered a Mario RPG just earlier this year? Oh my, it's so weird to think about that that Bowser's Inside Story remake came out this year. It feels so long ago, doesn't it? But I guess that's solely just by virtue of being on the 3DS, huh? And it became one of the lowest selling Mario games of all time. <laughs> True. But I mean, looking at that, that's a situation where Alpha Dream already has the engine and those relatively easy games to recreate. Or re especially because like, I don't know. But I think specifically with the Thousand Year Door situation, like, I think it's stupid. But what else is new when it comes to Arlo's opinions? Um, I don't know, like, if you look at the list of GameCube, like, if you had to pick any GameCube game to remaster, the Thousand Year Door is a bizarre choice. Like, I think alongside Wind Waker, that game is, like, artistically aged, probably, like, like one of the best aged games in the GameCube library. So, A, I don't see a need to remaster it. B, it didn't go anywhere. Just, like, okay. Start a movement to put it on the Switch Switch Online Virtual Console or, or whatever. Or I guess they would call it Nintendo Switch Online, Nintendo GameCube. Full title. Full stop. But, like, a full remaster is, is just silly, I think. Also, what the fuck is going on in here? I guess this is what happens when the Minecraft beds collide. I want them to remake the first one, not Thousand Year Door. I would like that too. But... I don't know. Actually. How about they just make them all available on Switch Online, then nobody has to worry about remakes. Well, this is a freebie. There. Now, now <laughs> many will enter, few will leave. Oh, and until the star itself leaves, I guess. Whoops. More action in a Minecraft bed than a futuristic hu hub video? Kaijumafu, I think I know that name. Is that a channel that has like a lot of weird sexy Minecraft parodies that often involve feet and vor and like macro? Because I, I forget which friend I showed it to. It was either Tyler, It's, or both. Um, but there was some sort of Minecraft YouTube channel that was like that, and I showed it to a friend. And ever since then, they've been very upset with me for introducing them to it. That is the channel. Oh, apparently I did show it to It's and Tyler. Okay, great. Oh, right. It showed me a Twitter video, and then I went to the channel, and I went in deep, apparently. Okay. Sounds about right. I am having lots of fun. Oh, dear. The slow-mo really sells it. Really sells the Minecraft bed. All I know about that channel is Minecraft sex. I just thought that they, they did fetish stuff. Fascinatingly enough, um, the clip that it sent me was like, Sonic the Hedgehog goes to a Minecraft swimming pool. How the fuck did we get dropped down here? Well, I guess I'm dead, so I'm out. But... It was like Sonic the Hedgehog in a Minecraft swimming pool, and then there were Minecraft girls with very realistic breasts. Um, and then something about feet? There was some sort of weird creepypasta meme, and he was saying to Sonic, Well, those, my dear boy, I'll call toes! And then, like, the feet got, like, very up close to the camera. It's 100% fetish stuff? This is what horrifies me. Like, I was about to say Dan Harmon. <laughs> I'm, like, I think Dan Schneider is one thing, but imagine 
what the kids who grow up with this, what this is going to do to them long term. Because I don't even think the kids who grow up with Elsa Gate stuff even are going to understand what it was. Like, I think we as adults look at Elsa Gate stuff and like, whoa, this is fucked up. This is not normal. But like for kids growing up with that, like, why wouldn't it be normal? That's the normal that they grew up with. So they're, they're desensitized to it. It's so strange. Also, I forgot that you can, like, manually point this. Look at this. You can do up diagonally, you can do sideways or down diagonally. I mean, you... Or down diagonally. I only discovered that very recently, and it's blown my mind since. This map is remark remarkably accurate, though. What a good Yoshi. Well, here's an idea. How about you suck in this item, Rosie? Oh, or not. Also, how is Charizard already gone? Can you guys fucking chill for one second? Have you ever seen those bootleg Yoshi plushies that are ridiculously overstuffed and they look exactly like Fat Yoshi? I have not, but I have seen that one image of that Yoshi Happy Meal where... Is Gear him stuck inside the ground? Custom stages seem to have a lot of weird clipping issues, don't they? But I have seen that one image of like the Yoshi Happy Meal McDonald's toy where the nose falls off and it looks very horrifying. Uh-oh. Oh, that thing can fly off into the sky? I had no idea. Oh! Climb aboard, Rosalina. You're gonna miss your bus stop. Also, how come this music is literally just SpongeBob music? I don't think I've gotten, like, an, a single assist trophy in this match so far. Rosalina and Mr. Game & Watch have been off the shits. I don't know, again, I don't know what happened to Charizard, but I choose not to question it. Who? Oh, hi, sexy. Chat, find yourself a man who will effortlessly send you to the blast zone. This has been a, a public message from me. Oh, for the love of... Well, the good news is that Rosalina's final smash is just the worst. Although... On second thought... I put pictures of them in the ship posts. Okay, I'll, I'll take a look at that after the stream then. DVD logo. Now this is a good map. This is an incredible bit. I mean, everybody's already seen this. Like, it's so weird. These are all older memes from like early 2019. It's less so a tour of Smash levels and just a tour of memes, really. Calling to the night. Fuck! Oh, I'm, I'm in the D! Well, this is my home now. <laughs> yeah, I can't get- oh, well, I guess I can if I wanted to, but I was happy in there for a time. It's still strange that things like this got lyrics, but we don't have the Snake Eater lyrics. 
that's just such, such a disservice, honestly. But then again, it's Konami, so what do you expect? Oh, this is good. This is a good opportunity for cheese. Coming soon to video and DVD. <laughs> and then the music crescendos when it hits the corner. It's so good. Oh, hi, Ike. Hi, sexy. Holy shit, the downwards arc. Well, it's not really an arc so much as, a, as it is a line. Oh, I can stack this, apparently. Here, a gift from me to you. Uh-oh. Oh, no! This seems fine. Oh, there she goes. She fell behind the DVD logo. No, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, stop it! <laughs> it's a Metroid, Luigi! You didn't make it! What an amazing stage, what an amazing stage! Nope. I'm sorry, did did Snake just pick up grapes and go, Tasty. I did not know that that was a line that he had, if that's what just happened. But if that is indeed the case, that's incredible. <laughs> It'd be nice if, similar to the Thwomp and Thwomp's Fortress that we played earlier, if they put, like, lava inside of the bottom of the DVD thingy somehow, so that if you got squished against a corner, it would actually be, like, a risk or something. I don't know. No, I'm keeping this. No! I guess I'm not keeping it. Oh, hi, Dylan's Rolling Western. Oh god, my controls have been reversed! Oh no, this is fucking awful! Okay, I'm free. Oh, I just like went straight to the bottom of that thing. I was hoping I was wild tiny. I could find a good opportunity to hide and kind of camp, but apparently not. This is some decent practice, though. I haven't played Smash in ages. Except for that, that family get-together that I already detailed during ukulele, where I had to hang out with my cousins and they said crazy shit. Why isn't Dylan a character? Uh, probably because they were from an eShop game and they already abandoned that IP, like, a, like two years into its existence. Now, Go Goat, on the other hand, I pray that that's what this is called, otherwise I will yet again be revealed as a fraud, is a perfect assist trophy option. But I guess it's a Pokemon, not, a, not an assist trophy. Oh no, that affects me too! Whoops! 
Whoops. No, you get back here. You stay away. You stay the hell away, Ike. Eichel. Uh-oh. Uh, meow? I know that only like four people played it, but Sakurai seemed to like it. That's interesting, I didn't know that. The good news is that I still have a stock left, fool. You idiot. Watch me somehow still lose though. <laughs> Didn't it have a game come out this year? I would have no clue, because I haven't been following that IP. It definitely doesn't have a Switch presence as far as I know. Mickey's Dick Smasher! Okay, Mickey's Dick Smasher. Wasn't that like one of the first ever games shown off in a Nintendo Direct? Like all the way back in 2011 when they were talking about Wii games? Oh my god. It's called a road, it's called a rainbow road. <laughs> it's a road where you go! No, I want to get my dick smashed. God, these Mickey heads look so cursed. It's a road called Rainbow Road. It's a place where all good go. It's a place called Rainbow Grows. Got Princess Peach Mario and the Toad. Oh! Oh, Fairy Bottle. Yes, please. I feel like they should have increased the movement speed of the Dick Smashers, but that's just my opinion. Griffin, technically, they, they still do talk about Wii games. It's, you're making a Kappa face when you say this, but I don't get the jokes. I'm afraid your very, your very funny meme has gone over my head. Much like these coasters have gone over my head. Right over my cock. God, it really is a miracle that Diddy Kong just makes real-ass monkey noises, isn't it? Sorry, am I dropping? This is in-game frame drops. What's happening? Okay, that is bizarre. Smash is usually so good about its frame rate. Why did that happen? This is a local match. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I just guess specifically with the stage builder, maybe. There's there seems to be some like weird. Was Just Dance in the last Nintendo Direct? Oh! Oh. I love how they still make those for Wii, but they just don't even bother with the Wii U versions anymore. Also, it turns out that the real Dick Smasher is this fucking crate, because oh my god! It, it sure loves these slopes, huh? Hold on, I need to carry it further up and then throw it. Look at the speed that it gets! That's what I'm talking about. Eh? Oh, okay. 
Why does this happen? Maybe it's just like a Final Smash thing? Because that was after Diddy's as well, that it started dropping frames. That is... very strange. I think I found a very serious bug. How do I report the Mickey's Dick Smasher glitch to Sakurai? Who do I call about the Mickey's Dick Smasher glitch? The Glitch Smasher, if you will. Also, speaking of calling Nintendo, I meant to... Because they're doing, like, free Joy-Con repairs now. And I meant to call them, but I still haven't. I should, I should really do that. Oh, that's an Ice Wind. I thought that was a Wind Wind. Like, I filed a ticket on their website, like, a week ago, but I never got an email back with the information that I need to actually ship them, so I, I think I just might call them. Do it, fucking crush them. There we go. Jesus Christ. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I stand a chance against Diddy Kong, but we will see. I suppose this does bring the- <laughs> Back full circle. Jesus Christ! Diddy Kong! <gasps> Unless... No, this is my chance. This is my chance. I can turn this around. What the fuck was that noise? Oh, it's this dude. Also, I fucking did it. My dick has been unsmashed, but at what cost? That only really bought me so much more time, didn't it? See, if you can just, like, get a good up throw, though, between the ground and the dick smashers while they're down here, that's it. That's the- that's the opportunity. Ooh, good air dodge. See, now I have the assist trophy. Now what are you going to do? What do you plan to do about it? They still have two stocks left. Fucking crush them! Smash his ditty dick, for God's sake! Oh my god! <laughs> This one's a fucking nightmare. We should get a Diddy Kong emote next? Well, that's the thing, is that with Yoshi Lull, it was either him or Diddy. We if I had more emote slots, then maybe both, but I think for the sake of diversity, we should pick something else. Look at this, not even Arceus can kill him. Diddy Kong is unstoppable. Unkongable. Jesus Christ. And here I am at 88% all over again. It's as if that extra stock never even happened. And I'm still gonna lose. Yeah, that's something. But if I know a thing or two about spirit battles, that thing doesn't mean a goddamn thing when it comes down to it. Not when the differences are like this. How did you exclusively hit the bumpers? <gasps> Bombs? Unless. UNLESS! Look at his fucking face. Look at Diddy's face. Look at his smug fucking... Deeply embarrassing.
My dick will never survive. Okay, how many of these, these are left? Nine? We can do nine. I think I have shown chat this one, but we'll do it again as well. We'll do the whole collection. Having this in, in my custom stage list is, is very awkward though, because every time somebody goes over to look at my custom stage, they're always like, wait, who's Keaton? <laughs> I find it to be a very difficult stage to explain. Now this is a home. I wanted to make a really funny Smash video with like the video editor, but apparently you can't record sta uh, videos on custom stages. You can't like use replays for the video editor. Not a thing apparently. Also, this is a fucking nightmare to see where that where those things are coming from, because Keaton's blocking them. Ooh. Bringo. God, Nintendog's got some great music up in Smash, though. I mean, I like the Smash 4 version better than the the Smash Ultimate Remix they did, with like the electric guitars and everything instead of the vocals. Oh my! Sorry, I thought that was a fetus instead of a dog. <laughs> that freaked me out for a second, but very fitting. That said, I don't know where I am. Oh, there I am. Okay. Oh, hi, doggy. God, I should have done this so that the eyes, like, followed the bone or something. But it, I, I'm guessing that that's the sort of thing that would have just eventually become mistimed to the point where the eyes are going in opposite directions. Oh, did that not work? There's a CPU down there! Oh, that was a... must have been an assist trophy, not another player. Okay. Truly, the cleavage is the most dangerous place to fight in. Ooh. I'll see it, Palutena. And then she gets lost in his hair, never to be seen again. This is my home. You guys don't get to come down here. See, I'm trying to get on top of the bone, but it's tricky to grab the ledges. Oh my god! Corrin's fucking deep voice. Are you ready? God damn it. Oh, well, there goes Ness, I guess. Or not. See, though, but look at this. I haven't died a single time. Now this is a tournament legal stage. Dragon Quest who? The only Dragon's Quest I care about is Corrin's Quest to Smooch Keaton.
I think if I had to change one thing about the stage, though, I really wish I, I modified the shape of the bone to make the ledges, like, much easier to grab, because as is, that's very, very difficult. Probably if it was, like, a pass-throughable platform as well, too, though. Because I think getting bounced up and down between this moving ceiling is kind of an interesting idea, but... More often than not, it's, it's trickier to utilize than it should be. Whom's- oh, okay. I'm getting schlapped. I mean, I've still got a, a decent lead, but you can never really trust the looks of a lead when Mickey's Dick Smasher sets the precedent that it did. Although, alternatively, um, <laughs> I missed that like, th what, three times now? Uh-oh, but this is bad news, because Corrin and Keaton can't count. There we go, gay rights. Gay rights. Fuck, I really don't know what I'm going to do with that extra emote slot. That's a curse more than anything. Also, I'm still waiting for Corrin to not transform into a dragon on the victory screen, because I'd like to do more funny- <laughs> Now this is a stage! <sighs> I still stand by Diddy pointing the peanut pop gun at you. I don't- Even if it's like a different... Emotion than Yoshi Low, I think that's where Diddy thrived. Oh my god, it's so good. I think that would be the best application of Diddy. And I think for the time being, I'd prefer something else. I guess I'm inside of his eye now. Jesus! Good collision on this stage. Good collision. Nobody gets to have that. No, but if there's if there's any like gap in terms of like emotions being portrayed, like if I had to pick, I would say, God damn it, probably a horny on main emote. You know, there were suggestions for a cast one earlier. And I think there is still potential in that. I think you're underestimating Diddy's potential. Mm, I know what his potential is. The problem is, is that I don't. If we did do a Diddy emote, I think you know, it just wouldn't be right. I'm not saying never, just not for the next emote. I think we need a thirsty one. Or a sleepy one. Because I also still think that Linhart would be a really good idea for, for an emote. But nobody seems to agree. Because all of you are fools. Instead of emotions, I'd work backwards from which characters you'd like represented based off the, off the games you like. Really, I think it's easier to, to pick emotions because that that's what you use emotes for on Twitch. It's like, oh, it's not, well, I mean, it could be. That is a application that is like, oh, I like this character, so I want to do something with this character. But more often than not, it's the same reason you would use any emoticon or any emoji. You don't make an angry face because you think the angry face is just cuter than all the other emoticons. You would make an angry face because you yourself are very angry. Oh, kid. 
You make Mama Hulk very angry. By Kirby. Also very fitting that he's here. The good news is, is that the garbage collision on this map equally affects everybody, so... <laughs> they're getting just as many KOs as I was a moment ago from that, it seems. Linhart would be good if he didn't already have two Fire Emblem emotes. I don't... Do Keaton, Pride, and Corrin Pride even truly count, though? Because those are like for fun emotes, for gay rights times, which is all times on this stream. But Linhart would s serve a dual purpose as not only being Fire Emblem gay rights rep, but also for sleepy time. Because hey, there's a lot of times when people in chat are like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed, see you. And you know what they use? They use the Panute's Sleepy Pupper emote. So wouldn't it be better if we had like something of that ilk to be used instead? Gay rights is for fun. <laughs> also, I've been killed, so goodbye. What a beautiful man. No contest. Oh, hold on, this is good. This I can put this here too. Okay. I didn't know that the ice climbers fucking cry. They don't even clap. Probably because they were doing so well. I think Tyler also made this one. This is Cloudy Castles. It could also be used during very boring moments in like a Direct or E3 or something. I don't know, I think it's a good one. But hey, I thought the Thirsty Cast was a good idea too, but nobody wanted that. <laughs> Oh, this is also a really good music choice, though. But wait a second, isn't this just that one stage from Smash 4 that didn't make it into Ultimate? The Metroid one with the with the garbage Other M Ridley look? Oh no! <laughs> the box almost like kidnapped me there. Ain't Ridley that guy who made all those books about weird things from around the world? Are you talking about Ripley's Believe It or Not? That's pretty funny. I remember my brother had some of those books. That and the Guinness Book of World Records were always very popular during like the Scholastic Book Fairs. What are like some other famous books from that? That like everybody got as a kid. I wouldn't know because I never got any of them. There were like a lot of school events like that, that for some reason I just like wasn't allowed to participate in. Like, I remember it, there was also during elementary school, um, every holiday season they would have like... Fuck, I forget what it, what it was called. I think Santa's Workshop or something like that, and it just had like a bunch of like little doodads that kids could come in and they could just buy like cheap little gifts for family members or whatever. Um, and my parents were very, very strict regarding 
the things I was allowed to get for like as gifts because if it came from that they didn't want it Yes, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, 100%. I have never read any of those books, but totally, that's de definitely up there as far as those books. Also, video game cheat code guides? Aw, oh, man. Well, you see, I had a Nintendo Power subscription, so I had the fucking hookup. I think the worst part is, is that we... We got, like, a lifetime subscription, <laughs> like, just a few months before they announced that they were going out of business. Well, not out of business, but that they, they were stopping that magazine. I don't know what else you would call it. I mean, the Nintendo Power podcast is okay, but, like, it's just not the same. I mean, to be fair, I usually like the Nintendo Power podcasts, but, like, this month, it's like, okay, so we're just talking about Game Boy games for, like, an hour? I think I might skip out on that one. Oh! Yeah, there I go. Okay. See, the good news is that we're getting through these stages faster than ever because I keep fucking dying in minutes. I remember getting a lot of Simpsons comics at those book fairs. I remember seeing those! I didn't even know that they made Simpsons comics until I saw that. If they were out of Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, then kids would start buying the Big Nate books. I don't know what that is, but okay. I also remember that they they used to have like certain games. They would put games in like the little Scholastic Order thingies, but they were all like weird shovelware things. Three, two, one, go! I think maybe the okayest game that they've sold in that catalog is like Drawn to Life, probably? Which I never played, so I don't even know if that, that's good either, but... It was a lot of bad, like... Oh, the Wii Carnival games! D Nintendo DS Shoot Farm Animals! But I guess nowadays, that's just a market that's served by, by iPhones, so... But as a console experience, I think even then, that ain't worth it. Drawn to Life is actually pretty good. It's got a weirdly intense story. I wonder if I could stream that and then make something where you play as Keaton. Like, like how good are the creation options? That'd be a fun thing to stream, though. I don't know if it's in, like... I mean, chat just said it's good, but if I would enjoy it. Or, like, how long it is. Or if, like, the gameplay is even my thing. I got the, the Scribblenauts game that launched with Wii U, though. And I literally forgot that I even owned that until that just came out of my mouth. But... That was Unlimited, right? That's the most recent one. They ported that to Switch as well. Man, Wii U got some weird third-party games that tried to utilize the touchscreen, but like... Nobody ever took on the real good ideas, it seems. I'm just gonna let Kawasaki do his thing. The gameplay is actually just a normal plat stuff a plat stormer, a platformer, you just get to draw stuff in the world. I see. Piranha plan, what are you doing back here? No, the new Switch Scribblenauts game is a party game spinoff? Oh! Yes. 
It is weird though how the Wii and DS had like a lot of fun new IPs that were like constantly coming out, not just by from Nintendo, but like third parties as well. And I know people look back on that era with a lot of like disgust, but I didn't mind casual Nintendo because the Galaxy games were still great. And I enjoyed the Touch Generation stuff. I still miss Big Brain Academy. That's where I got my Big Brain from. Can't you tell? I would watch streams of you playing as Keaton through both games. Well, how does that how does that work though? Because I think if I were to make a, a Corin character, that would be better. Because there's probably like a limit on how large you can make your character, and I think Keaton would surpass that. However, if there is like a love interest character you can create, I think it would be really funny to like go on a quest to rescue Keaton or something. No. You would have to do pixel art versions, but you totally could do it. Huh. What an interesting idea. See, the problem with that is that... <laughs> the first stream would just be making those character models, because I would have to put so much work into making, like... Because I would end <laughs> up taking it seriously. It would end up just being like a galaxy gallery, I guess. And there's no love interest. Damn. See, because my, my joke there is that I, I would want them to, like, fall in love or something like that. But I guess I have Fire Emblem Heroes for that. And that's half the fun, TBH. Well, you can make, like, vehicles, so maybe Corrin can ride around on, like, a Keaton car. Also, I'm dead here, too. Great. No contest. Like, maybe it's a Keaton that, like... The wheels are all like his his arms and legs, and they spin around 360 degrees, and that's how that works. Keaton platforms. I don't know though, even stuff like Wii Sports and Wii Fit, I wish they would continue those on Switch. This one isn't even that funny or fancy, I just like it. I just think it's neat. God, it's been fucking years since I've listened to Sonic Boom. I remember watching that opening though all the time on my fucking Sonic Mega Collection GameCube disc. Uh-oh. Yoshi. Whoa-shi. It's a shame that we don't have Hog Champ yet, though, because that'd be great for this map. I DM'd you the stage ID to check out the one that I did. Okay, uh, like a Twitch Whisper? I'll check that out as soon as I'm done with this list, and, that, and then that can be the last one. Unless anybody else has stages they want to send in. But yeah, I'd say that that makes for a good stream. Worth of matches, I don't know. I mean, I'm not winning very many of them. But I think something like this, where it's just kind of like a for fun thing, where we're just checking some some stuff out, and we're not make we don't have to we're not obligated to make progress or win necessarily, because we're already through with World of Light. You know, it's a nice little break from Three Houses. Even though I don't even find the progression of that game like pressuring. Also, I genuinely dodged that. Go me. I'm surprised you went this long, TBH. It's only been like two-ish hours, right? 
however long it takes to get through these stages, baby. I think you'll love it. Uh oh, that means uh, that means I'll hate it. You know, games these days are having like a lot of vocal themes lately, and I think I should take it upon myself to make like a tier list. Because let's see, there's this, there's the three houses thingy, we got Jump Up Superstar, the awful Smash Bros one, that's going on the bottom of the tier list. Uh oh. I thought you would turn on the stream, do the ew noise, and then turn the stream off for the night. Oh well that was already what my reaction to the Smash presentation was, so that's out of my system. At least as far as turning off the stream goes. God, I fucking love... If I had to make a tier list of, like, video game sound effects, all of Donkey Kong Country's would be S tier. We got- Ow! We got- Oh! We got- Ow! It's truly miraculous stuff. Can I say an unpopular opinion here? Griffin does all the time, so why not? Well, it's- that's my permission to give, but I suppose it's too late now. Did Freedom Planet have any vocal tracks? I don't remember, but if they did, I think they kind of slap by default, because I, I trust that game soundtrack with my life. Sonic Boom is good, but I think You Can Do Anything is better in that intro, and I think I prefer it to Sonic Boom. Oh! Ooh! Oh, it did! Interesting. Also, I'm defeated, so I guess I'm leaving again. I'd like to win a match, please. No contest. Oh, but this is great news, because this is another stage that I made. This one's called Corin's Room. Let's check it out. What do you mean, Pangu Lagoon? Is that the, is that the name of the stage you made? Corin. Also, I have to change what these are now. And then... Buff Ike. And then... And... Dirt. Oh, the stage from Freedom Planet. The one that ha goes, this is my destiny. I think I remember that one. Hey, what if we put our private quarters beds together? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. So as you can see, this is the best stage. This is actually real Fire Emblem Blades gameplay. I need to change the, the category of what I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Now, what's very irritating about this is that the spawn point always wants to go above the ceiling, so I have, I have to put these cannons here so you're forced down. Looking at this after three houses is just whack. What do you mean it's whack? I still like fades. You can't stop me. See, here's the trick. You hide under the bed and then you use it. And then you fucking die, I guess. But look! Look, now I'm... Now I'm ready to go. This is the ideal Smash match. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Yeah. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. I love how much you can like bounce up and down off the walls here. Oh, this is gonna put me right in the cannon. This is actually great. Oh wait, no it won't. I'll just weave directly through them. Oh no wait, I think I did go into the cannon because I'm right here, clearly. What happens if somebody gets hit by this but there's a ceiling? Apparently we'll never find out. We'll never know. Ooh! Oh! Just gonna sit this one out real quick. Seems a bit messy if you ask me. And of course I summoned Isaac. Oh god. Who's not affected here? I guess Marth used that? What's everybody's favorite Pac-Man ghost? Uh, Pinky, obviously. Oh, it says Clyde. Fascinating. It's Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde, right? Those are the names? I'm sorry, what is it? Who put a fucking Goldeen under my bed? No, wait, that's the one... On Mutuals with the guy who designed that on Twitter. He also did, like, Kl a Klonoa manga. I should know this. See what the fuck is going on? But the pinballing is endlessly entertaining. Griffin would choose Pinky. What do you um, what do you mean? Why is that a bad thing? I made a post earlier saying what your favorite Pac-Man ghost says about you. Well what does Pinky say about me then? There's Goldie, now Goldie's on my bed. The prophecy comes true. It's my sleepover, and I get to pick the movie we watch! Uh-oh. Yeah, what's my government-assigned Pac-Man kin? Uh-oh. <laughs> Fuck, but that just po pops him into the cannons. Pinky said that you're gay? Sounds about right. No, that sounds like nonsense. I demand a recount. Ooh. Clyde said that you're awesome. Oh, so all the options are, are very, like, wholesome and positive? I can get behind that. Just like Prom and Ike can get behind me. I can't let it hit and they're in slow motion. Oh, this is dangerous. I, I See, this is the thing. If you go closer to the right edge, you're more likely to knock them out, but you're also going to knock yourself out. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, but it's fine because of the cannons. Also, what do you mean Ike has a stock left still? Uh-oh. Lift off? Lift off? Hmm, or not. I can make this work. Uh, what's, a, what's a couple hundred percent difference? Wait a second, uh-oh. Though I guess if that has to point anywhere, the, that corner of the room is probably for the better. Uh-oh. 
<gasps> oh, I got caught on like the lip of the chair. That That's the only thing that saved me. Uh-oh. Fatal frame. Nani. I can't even see where the photo frame is. I guess that's what the CPU does. Oh! <gasps> that was a freebie. Uh oh. I've been framed! Blinky says that you're a fan of shonen anime, and Inky says that you smoke weed. I see. Uh oh. See, but no matter how many times I can get to that final smash, it's not going to fucking work, because it'll just put me in the cannons. Corrin, on the other hand... Come here, come to bed. Come to bed, sweetie. Hey, Ike, sweetie! Things about to get real spicy. See ya! God damn it! Every time I win, it's not the human Corrin. See, because I, I want to put... This on... I guess that works. <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, so there's a few more. This one's called Worm Rodeo. Let's see what it's all about. And I think I'll stick with these Fire Emblem characters, honestly, because I think they're all perfectly suited for a rodeo. I never played Fates. Why does Corrin turn into a horse? Uh, it's a dragon, and it's because he's a dragon. That's why he has dragon wings and dragon horns and a dragon tail. Three, two, one, go. See, though? Dragon. <gasps> Whoa! Okay! I haven't actually played on this one before! <laughs> so this is the Worm Rodeo. Oh, this is very strange. I see. This is actually a really fun one. It's like one of those, um... Those bowls that you have to stay on for as long as you can. <laughs> this one's really fun, actually. Ooh. A worm? Oh wait, these other things are part of the foreground? That's kind of a letdown. Oh, I clipped through it. Great. Wait, antlers. He's a moose. They're just fractal horns? I don't know. How does Marth have three stocks still? Jesus. Well, that was a quickie. No funny victory animation to put Corrin's head on, either. But perhaps this will be our chance. I'll, see, now I can just put the Corrin head on the stage. And I guess I can keep this cast again. <laughs> see, this one's actually very nice, because whether or not you're a fan of M Corrin or F Corrin, it's kind of both. Oh, I- I did not know that the weapons did this. That's very funny. As much as I'd like to say that I made this one, I didn't. I think this is from, like, a... a JP Smash player. Clearly one with good taste, but, you know, it's- it's- it's tricky. Because there's fucking nothing to stand on. Now this is the trick. This is how you win. You just pick stages that are so fucking absurd that the CPUs can't possibly put up with them. Oh, but the cannon's kind of uh oh, clever because it shoots you directly into the sword. That's that's the trick.
Oh. Oh my god, the gaps between these platforms are a fucking nightmare. Again, though, I appreciate it for the for what it represents. Because, believe it or not, I didn't make a Corrin stage. Well, I guess I made Corrin's room, but... God, I need to stop using that move. But clearly somebody stepped up to the plate in my place. Uh-oh. Yat uh-oh. Well, that was a freebie. Ooh, the air dodge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crom! <laughs> I do like that there's a new Awakening Victory theme, though. That's good. All right, well that wraps up all the stages that I have downloaded. Let's go find Itz's here. I forget how you sh even share these. Do you look up names or level codes? Level codes, okay. Yeah, I just saw the thingy now. So I have to find that by going to Nintendo Switch Online, which is for some reason already on? For some reason? Maybe that's part of the update. But before when you clicked online for the first time, you had to like load into a thing. Shared content, that's how you do it. It's been ages. And then I search. For an ID. There we go. So this one is D T F one B F one B F one P. That's that's confusing. D T F one B F one P. Terrific Terrace. Oh <gasps> it's oh look okay. I'm saving this. That's really, that's really, really funny. You can also do names, but I sent the code. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, let's go, let's go do that then. God damn it, I certainly didn't see that coming. I thought it was gonna be like another funny RJ reference. Also, I clicked the right button, I don't know why I backed out. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's amazing! Oh, I can't wait to play on this one. I'm still picking Corrin, though. Oh, this is a four-player map. Okay. Uh, we'll go with randos again. I made this when 3.0 first came out, and it's just been sitting on my Switch ever since. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, for... Fuck's it. Well, I guess that brings it full circle, doesn't it? Oh my god, it's got the moving platforms and everything. But I can't stand on them, so that's a little bit... I guess it's a good use of layers, though. Oh, so in terms of the things I can actually stand on... See, I would have made some of these background bits in the foreground, like being able to operate on this bottom layer and the top layer, like having this jut out a little bit as like a pass throughable platform. Oh, but I see what you've done. You, you hold on. Look, this is really clever. He even like put the river in. Look at that. That's so. That's so good. He's even got like kind of the floodgate over there. Oh, I actually like this a lot. Yeah, if you guys have no idea what the fuck this is about, look, uh, check the VOD channel for LEGO Block Adventure 4, and you'll, you will understand. I originally wanted to make it that way, but it turned out to be super broken when I tried. Oh, okay, I see. It's weird that a stage like this would end up like, like even this makes the four-player limit kick in. Like, damn. I wouldn't think this to be that kind of stage, but I guess it is. I 
I'm sorry, it's time for Hero to k get the fuck out of here. Zol. It's time to cut leave immediately. Oh, look at all these goodies. Yummy. Not only that, this is max parts. Oh my god, how? Oh, I guess if you are using a lot of separate pieces, maybe. So is the yellow thing up here, is that meant to be like the switch or the bridge? Because certain aspects of the depth have been <laughs> compressed. I was going to do the mountain too, but it wouldn't let me. Oh yeah, there is the mountain it, to it. See look, it knows terrific terraces better than I do. Oh, this is my favorite Terrific Terraces reference. When it fucking explodes. Please let me have this. I was a fool. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit close, isn't it? Because of fucking course he grabbed my Pokeball out of the air, why wouldn't he? Well, see ya, Lucas. <gasps> oh! I ate my own water. Gross. For the love of God, what a combo! That said, I would I would appreciate it if you stopped now. Oh no, he's gonna get the fucking no! <gasps> it's time for you to super die! Oh my God! And Suicune! <laughs> Super Mario, I am begging for your mercy. <laughs> no, you're thinking of LBA5. You're, I, well, it's more so the development hell that blew up, but sure. Whew. And now I can use my funny joke, which is the ultimate conclusion to this stream. You can't really rotate these and the color doesn't look quite right, but it's kind of, it's kind of there. Anyways, <laughs> I guess that was Smash Ultimate for tonight. Um, so, a, so a itty bitty baby stream by Three Houses standards. But regardless, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, you can follow me here on Twitch or on YouTube at the Full Galaxy where all the VODs are, plus highlights and more. You can also subscribe to me here on Twitch if you particularly enjoyed what you saw. It feels so strange to me saying this this early into a stream, now that Three Houses has like desensitized me. I feel like I'm getting off early tonight, even though it's only like, <laughs> even though it's already one. But uh, you can also subscribe to me here on Twitch if you particularly enjoyed the stream. You can also check me out on Twitter, Tumblr, Pillowfort, and Discord. There is a Discord server with all sorts of channels for you guys to hang out on both on and on stream. And I believe, oh my god, okay, hold on. Let me get the, the bootleg Yoshi that Kaijin Wufu sent me, because I did say that I wanted to look at this. No, we're not doing how to play. We're not doing this garbage fucking Dragon Quest tier midi. We're doing, we're doing Yoshi. These are insanely good. This one especially. Look at his fucking feet! He boot too big for he goddamn feet! 
I really like those. Those are good Kaijumafu. Thank you for sharing. Um, is there anything else? No, okay, that's it for tonight. Well then, I guess uh, that's been Smash for tonight, and I will see you tomorrow with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, so I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.